Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg's journey from a college student to the founder of Facebook, one of the most influential social media platforms in the world, is a tale of vision, innovation, and perseverance. Born in 1984 in White Plains, New York, Zuckerberg showed an early aptitude for computers. By the time he was in middle school, he was already programming, creating games, and developing software for his friends and family. His father, a dentist, even hired a private computer tutor to nurture his son's talent. This foundation in technology, combined with his academic excellence, led Zuckerberg to Harvard University in 2002. At Harvard, he was known as a prodigy, often impressing peers and professors with his programming skills. It was here, in the crucible of intellectual and technical challenge, that Zuckerberg's path to creating Facebook would begin. In his sophomore year, Zuckerberg launched a website called FaceMash, which allowed Harvard students to rate the attractiveness of their classmates based on photos taken from the university's online directories. Although FaceMash was shut down by the university administration after only a few days due to privacy concerns and its controversial nature, it had attracted significant attention and had spread like wildfire among students. This episode highlighted Zuckerberg's ability to create viral digital experiences and his understanding of the power of social connections. Undeterred by FaceMash's short lifespan, he saw potential in the idea of an online social network that could connect people. Along with his roommates, Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskovitz, and Chris Hughes, he began working on a new project initially called The Facebook. On February 4, 2004, The Facebook was launched. It was initially limited to Harvard students, but quickly expanded to other Ivy League universities and then to colleges across the United States. The platform's appeal lay in its simplicity and exclusivity, it allowed users to create profiles, upload photos, and connect with friends. The clean design and the college email address requirement added a layer of credibility and trust among users. The rapid growth of the Facebook caught the attention of venture capitalists, and in mid-2004, Zuckerberg moved the company's operations to Palo Alto, California. There, he received his first major investment from Peter Thiel, co-founder of PayPal, which enabled him to hire more staff and expand the platform further. By the end of 2004, Facebook had reached over 1 million active users, setting the stage for its explosive growth. As Facebook continued to grow, Zuckerberg faced numerous challenges, both technical and legal. He had to continuously innovate to keep the platform engaging and relevant. Features like the news feed, introduced in 2006, transformed how users interacted with content, making Facebook an indispensable part of daily life for millions. However, success came with its share of controversies. Legal battles ensued, including a notable lawsuit with the Winklevoss twins, who claimed Zuckerberg had stolen their idea. Despite these hurdles, Zuckerberg's unwavering focus and strategic vision guided Facebook through its formative years. He emphasized the importance of connecting the world, often stating that Facebook's mission was to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. His leadership saw Facebook grow beyond a mere social networking site to a global platform influencing communication, business, and even politics. Today, Facebook, now part of Meta Platforms Incorporated, continues to shape the digital landscape, a testament to Zuckerberg's enduring impact and the power of his initial vision.